just like... It's like visual Christmas every time you stop to fight a pack. But being able to... If you just swap to Widowmaker and then uh, Guided Arrow down bosses... You actually have a build. I think that's actually a thing. Let's talk about the the holy bow paladin. Get it? Holy bow, like holy bolt, but but with a bow. Because we use principle to cast holy bolt. You know what I mean? Do do you get it? Does everybody get it? I feel like people don't get the joke I'm making. All right, yeah. So that's that's the holy bow par paladin. It's uh it's a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be, and also a lot more viable than I thought it was going to be. I, there's definitely a lot of tweaking that you can do with this in general, but let's talk about like what we tried out, what what the build looks like right now, and so basically the the combination is these two items, right? So it's endless hail, which gives you access to strafe, has a decent amount of damage on it, um, cast level twelve blizzard, which is. Eh, Nice, it's a level 12 blizzard, sure, why not? But principle, now it's 75% chance to cast level 25 holy bolt. With the 25 holy bolt, you can go full max synergies for holy bolt in holy light, fist of heavens, and holy nova. And your holy bolt's probably dealing like 1400, 1500 damage per bolt. So if they were to all shotgun, that's 4500 magic damage. And then to continue to augment this, we actually went with a Sanctuary build. So we're using Sanctuary as our aura, just adding that additional 2k magic damage per attack along with the magic damage, uh, the radial damage. And then we max out Blessed Aim just for that AR, and then we put our dump points into Might as a synergy for Sanctuary. The rest of the build, is you need 100% Pierce, or at least right now it looks like you need 100% Pierce. So it's a Giant Skull, Magnus Skin, Razor Tail and Threads of Cathan. For our skillers, we're using all offensive magic skillers. You theoretically could be running the three to magic damage large charms, and then you would have six per slot, and then six multiplied out by nine, right? So you're getting a decent amount of magic damage. That should theoretically help both with the Sanctuary Aura as well as the Holy Bolt damage. That is actually proccing. We're using a random skill ring just to be able to buff our strafe damage in the Sanctuary Aura. I think I would rather have a BK here just for the Life Leech. I'm using Amara's right now just because it's easy. It gets us a bunch of all res and the plus two to skills is going to help out with the Sanctuary Aura as well as the strafe. On swap, obviously we're using a Call to Arms with a Lidless just to be able to buff up a little bit more. Sanctuary Aura is adding around 2400 damage to every attack, which is really nice. Sadly, that damage doesn't really show up in your character screen. So right now it looks like we're only dealing 800 to 6,000 damage, which is still a decent chunk of damage. But keep in mind that another 2,000 both on min and max is there. The benefit of this build is that it has good amounts of physical damage as well as having a large amount of magic damage. So basically there's nothing in this game that we can't kill if we don't shoot at it for long enough. 13,000 attack rating is where we end up on this one. Honestly, it feels really solid. I don't feel like I'm missing too much, even with the changes to AR in this season. We are going with a full, a full, 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 a full glass cannon version of the build. So we dump everything into dexterity. Since we're relying a lot more on the magic damage aspect and less of the physical damage, I don't think that you have to do this. You could definitely be running a lot more vitality, but if you just want to see what the dump damage looks like, go ahead and dump it all into dexterity. The Mercenary is rocking a beast for the Fanaticism or so that we are at max IAS breakpoint. He's also running plus five to skills for the Might Aura. Before, I had this as a much more like physical damage heavy build. With the bow base, it's just really hard to actually get those numbers up to anything respectable. So that's why we started looking into different auras instead of running more ED. And then he's running Gore Riders and Dracul's just so he can keep himself alive. I think the build is pretty fantastic. One of the things that I really want to try out, uh, just because strafe on a boss is doing menial amounts of damage, 
Um, I'd really like to try having Widowmaker on swap, literally just to have Guided Arrow in multi-shot when there's too many things on screen. So you swap over to multi-shot, you clear out a little bit of the screen, and then when you have a boss pack, you actually just Guided Arrow down the boss instead of the Strafe. And then for everything else, you swap back over to the Strafe just to get maximum proc rate, maximum attack speed, and uh, you could be like a full double bow paladin. Again, we're going with Holy Bow Paladin right now, just playing off of Holy Bolt. Uh, if you have a better name, let me know down in the comments. I'm pretty sure the most important part of Diablo 2 is just coming up with the funny names for meme builds. But quite frankly, this one is really good. Uh, for people who are wondering, what does it look like on less gear? We were running like the bare minimum gear to work this along with just random max damage charms. And before swapping over to a different Sanctuary aura and trying to swap over to a lot of Plusta skills, it was doing fine. It's definitely good for vanilla content, and I think for like lower level easier maps, like tier 1 maps, Ruins of Viz June, it was doing fine before swapping out to anything more specified for this build. I definitely recommend it. It's a ton of fun. It falls into some of the pit traps of other non-Amazon bow builds, which is a bow is on is just going to be stronger and faster, but... Season 3 also had a big nerf to both Windforce and Bereza, and is definitely trying to explore more bow accessible builds in general. So if you're looking for one, Endless Hail is a nothing rune word. Uh, Principle is super cheap to build. We also, <laughs> we also tried out an Act 1 Mercenary with Principle and Laying of Hands, and we put a Demon Machine on her, and she was slapping. Like, absolutely slapping. It was it was pretty impressive for damage output. I think the Act 5 Mercenary is a better pick just for right now, but I might swap back over to the Act 1 Mercenary. I, I really recommend it. But I hope that you try this out. I hope that this was informative for you, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a good one.